Welcome back to CDV News. Well, well, forget the Queen's birthday honour list. We're heading to the east side to honour and celebrate some volunteers. The country may have celebrated the success of many New Zealanders on Queen's birthday at the start of the week, but one community group has their own awards to honour three volunteers who have made their service available for nearly 40 years combined. And the organiser says it would have been hard to do the work without them. I've had three volunteers that have worked volunteered for me here, um, for the, one of them for 13 and a half years and two of them for 12. 13 and a half year Colleen, she's been working three and a half hours per day for three days a week for 13 years. She's amazing. They're all like that. They're just amazing, the older group. She wanted to recognise three of her colleagues who give up their time every week to help and maintain the community group, getting activities organised and the continued running of the place. They just do all the background work to that, the cleaning, the tidying, all those back, background things that volunteers do that we don't often see. The Wainoni Avonside Community Services Trust is operating in this church, in the red zone out in Eastern Christchurch. The facility itself is structurally fine. It was back in operation shortly after the February quakes, and now it's used for the retirees to come together for activities, including this one today. And now, four years on, and with the volunteers' ongoing support, attendance numbers have improved. I just feel I want to award them because they just save me so much time and organisation. They just do so much for me to help the taking over the group. And as a result, you know, even though we're in, a, in Christchurch East over here, the programme is actually, uh, the attendances are back to pre-quake levels, and a lot of that is due to these volunteers. Janice and Bessie have been helping for the last 12 years, with Colleen slightly longer, 13 and a half. And they had no idea that they were going to be recognised in front of their group today. No, they didn't. <laughs> we wouldn't have been here for you. <laughs> the awards were presented by former Labour MP Margaret Austin, who used to work in the Beehive throughout the 80s and 90s, and now has a lot to do with the group, a patron as of today. Betty wanted to come up with a way to thank the three ladies with her own Queen's Birthday Honours, except this time they got a new title, the WSM, the Wainoni Service Medal. For years now I've thought about the, uh, the QSMs and I thought, oh gosh, my ladies do just as much, if not more. I shouldn't say that, but I think they do. And I thought, oh, why don't we just do WSMs and change it to Wainoni Service Medals. So along with the medals came the certificates too, and some afternoon tea for everyone, themed around the Royal Day. But it, it's due to Betty that has made all the difference, because when it was started so many years ago, if, it, if they had chosen somebody different, it wouldn't have been nearly as successful as it is now. And Bessie says there's no other place she would rather be. Because of the people, they <laughs> make you, you know, it's just lovely to see them and feel welcome here. And it's lovely to see people come here and feel welcome here in this church. And um, I just love it when people arrive and say hi. And it's nice to be here for them. So the service continues for the three, something they're not giving up anytime soon. Jared McCulloch, CTV News.